What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today we are going to be taking on the brand new Super Saiyan Goku event, or is it technically Super Saiyan Rage Goku, because he does go into rage mode, and that's what the card does, and all that fun stuff, I mean, this is basically just like Tech Broly way back in the days, remember those days where you need the gods to take him on and everything like that, and now you can like take him down with pretty much any team you want, so... Anyway, nonetheless, so let's go through the let's go through the event real quick. We're gonna translate it real quick. We're gonna take a look at what hurts the guy, what items you might potentially have to bring or anything like that. Then we're gonna go into the event with the free to play team. We're gonna bring in the movie heroes team. I actually love the free to play movie heroes team. It's a lot of fun to use sometimes. So uh, without further ado, let's go take a look at what we got. So anyway, uh, we got your usual Z hard super two. Nothing really changed there, obviously. Um, now it does mention that obviously that when you beat this stage, so stage will clear. Then you get the Goku medals. Nothing pretty standard stuff right there. However, it does state that. When he enters rage mode, his damage increases and the attacks increase, okay? Um, and then it's, yeah, so he even says right here, the more you hit him, his gauge will go to max. Now, the only way to make that gauge go down and make him go back, okay, basically revert, essentially, is to use a new King Kai item. Now, so it says right here, support item, and then, uh, Kita no Kaioshin. So... This item is from the now current uh, EZA of the second form uh, free to play Frieza event that's currently out right now. So if you go in there, I think it's like stage 10, 11, one of those two. Haven't beaten it just yet. Uh, but basically, you go in there. If you farm a few of those items, you can bring them in. And then again, it's, it's, it's a very, it's another combination of the uh, Harutagon stage. We had to use that flute to make his, uh, to make the rage meter go down or the invincibility or like a lot of dodge meter essentially so but bottom line just bring that item if you want to make it go even faster i'm not going to bring that personally though i want to see if this is any good i want to know if the rage mode actually brings anything you know could this maybe potentially also allow you to bring teams that encompass something like you know the six turn goku black the six turn lr goku or vegito and gogeta all that kind of fun stuff because as of right now those guys' best unit or event is still going to be the uh, legendary goku event so without further ado uh, we'll have to take a look at that. So, obviously, characters that do some big up damage. Final form Frieza makes perfect sense. I'm honestly kind of surprised that the physical full power Frieza is not on here. I mean, I know the Goku's, you know, STR and everything. And, you know, I know that Frieza also has his easy A and everything at the same time. But, I don't know. It's kind of confusing me that he's not in there. So, anyway. So, if you want to, though, if you had the Frieza or any of those Frieza's I just showed you, bring them along here and do some extra damage. That's all cool stuff. Uh, again, round three. You cannot seal him. You cannot stun him. Pretty standard stuff you'd expect from this kind of thing, and that's also when the gauge goes to its max. Again, if you want to reduce the uh, the Fury Bar, the Rage Bar, whatever you want to call it, then use the uh, the Northern Kai item. Yeah, so you can say it's right there, okay? Uh, let's see here. Items, yada yada. Frieza does extra damage. Oh, okay, so this this right here is telling you if you want to get the support item, then from Stage 11... Oh, so I was right. Stage 11. Yeah, Stage 11 of the uh, Free-to-Play Frieza event right there. Pretty standard stuff. All cool, Okay. And then, obviously, the first round is going to be agility, second round will be physical, and third round will be SDR. Okay, makes perfect sense. And then it just tells you, hey, you get 77 medals, you can duck and awaken the Goku and everything, uh, his rage mode. Frieza requires a medal as well, although he's only required 35 because he's not a Doku Fest exclusive card. And the event is live every single day until the 1st of July. Wow, it's almost the middle of 2019. Where the heck is time going? I don't, I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know. So... Anyway, guys, we're going to be right back. I'm going to go grab a team, and then we're going to jump right into the battle. So be right back. All right, guys, here we go. So this is our free-to-play team that we're going to be bringing. Again, I said we're going to be using the Movie Heroes category. So obviously, a complete free-to-play. Let's see what this team can possibly do. So not the rotations I was particularly looking for. Um, actually, I will throw Gogeta off rotation because actually, I, it's it's for no particular reason. I just want to have both Gogetas on the same rotation just for, you know, the heck of it. So uh, let's give all those Rainbow Orbs to the LR, Goku, and Raleigh. Uh, unfortunately, we'll get a 12 and 18 key super attack with him, and sure, why not? We'll do overkill with the STR orbs there because Tom Rainbow orbs and everything. So, uh, two million damage right here on the LRs. Obviously, Global, you are currently at the time of this recording, at least currently have this available as well. Uh, farm them. They're they're an amazing LR. Like definitely go for them. So, uh, Great Sam and one and two are obviously player choices. I think you know support raise your uh, raise your allies defense and everything. Pretty cool stuff, so. Uh, can you guys dodge? I don't want to deal with super attack just yet. Eh, it's only 65. That's fine. I am curious how much damage the Gogeta will be taking, though. He does have the Goku and the Vegeta on here, so technically... Wow, only 94 damage. So he technically should be at his best. He should be at his best, so... I will keep the Goku on rotation right here until we get the other Gogeta back on. And then, so we'll do that. 
The uh, TR version of the Goku here, he's basically the LR's best friend. I don't know if I'll keep them on rotation together. Maybe once we get to the STR, depending on how long things take. Uh, but he is the best partner to the Goku in a Raleigh LR card, so. And obviously, you gotta bring the Gogeta as a friend, right? He's the uh, movie hero category lead. So, yeah. Plus, he's, just, he's gonna kick that much more ass, so. Alright, so we're going to the physical Kaioken now. I don't think this should be too difficult. We'll let you mitigate some damage um, after you unfortunately have to get hit. So, why don't we give you those three rainbow orbs right there? We'll do that so you can seal them. You can still seal this stage. You can still seal this stage, no problem. So, don't. Don't worry about anything. They shouldn't be taking... Oh, they're, all, they're still taking double-digit damage thanks to the Great Sam M1, too. They're going to now mitigate double-digit damage, so nothing really special there, so... By the way, guys, if you missed my summon video on the uh, the Goku's banner, go ahead and check it out. It'll be at the end of the video. It, um... I'm not sure if... I, I'm not sure if I'm going to go back into it. I'm just going to leave it with that. So, anyway, yeah, go ahead and check out the video if you want to at the end. Uh, did a lot of summons. We streamed them. We streamed them live over on Twitch, so make sure if you want to catch the next summon on Twitch, make sure you go down to the link below in the description at twitch.tv slash challenge V, and you'll be able to just go ahead and follow there if you want to, and we'll obviously keep the Vegito, or the Gogeta here. I uh, will do that, and Goku will give you those, so. He's sealed. The Gogeta should be taking, like, nothing, so, yep. Yeah. 951,000. Not bad for a free-to-play card. He does have the EZA. For those wondering, by the way, how you're supposed to get the Gogeta up to easy, you have to go to the fur, the fur, the, the furry, the Fury Broly events, the his easy, and then those medals that you get from there. That's how you awaken this Gogeta. So, and of course, the uh, AGL Gogeta here is gonna wipe Scott the face of the planet. So here we go. So here is the Super Saiyan Goku. I love that aura effect on him. I love the updated aura effect on the Super Saiyan up here. That's pretty cool. So obviously. The more the more we attack this guy, the higher the Fury Bar is going to go. There's nothing like with the Android 17, the Android Super 17, where if you did like a blast attack, his uh, the gauge went up faster, uh, or technically the shield barrier went down slower. And then if you use a physical attack, it went down faster, or maybe it's the other way around. I don't really remember because that event is so old. But nonetheless, um, I will actually for once take those two off rotation because 73. Do you guys get a? Yeah, you guys actually give a nice little attack. You know what? Why not? I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be fine. So that's three rainbows right there for them. We even give you a little bit of an extra rainbow because it is a bit of an attack boost. And I hope we don't get super attacked. So why don't we go with that? By the way, these guys do super attack twice. Or these guys, the the Goku, he super attacks twice. I don't know about if he's in non-Fury mode. I know for a fact though, based on the kanji I saw, he super attacks twice when in Fury mode. I keep seeing furry. Furry, I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's my chat yesterday. All right, 1.2, not bad, not bad. This is obviously the best time to get a lot of damage on him. Uh, but, I mean, he's got so many life bars. He's not like the Beerus where you could probably just one-shot him. Uh, so we'll give it to you with the Goku. Boom, okay. Not really there for the damage, but whatever. It is what it is. Can't seal him, obviously. Can't stun him. All that fun stuff is just done. So, Great Sam, I want to, again, to here just giving that defensive. Oh, hello. Well, I hope we don't die. Unless they dodge this. No, they're not going to dodge that. Oh, that's super attack. That's beautiful. Only 48. Wow, okay. That's... I have a feeling Fury Mode is going to be... Definitely, he's going to hit harder. So, all right. Here we go. So, Gogeta's transformed now. Alrighty. Perfect. All right. So, why don't we put you there? And Vegeta raises his defense. So, we'll go with that. If I remember correctly, the Gogeta does raise his attack. Okay, he raises his attack every single super attack. So, that's pretty cool. And then, when you have a Goku uh, lineage category... Uh, ally, you get attack and defense up 20%, along with the Vegeta, so technically attack and defense up 40% being on the team. And then you're fighting against a movie boss category, you get automatic critical, or you're effective against everyone, basically. Uh, so, let's see here, we'll just do that for the Gogeta, and then we'll give that to the Vegeta. Because he does, again, he raises his defense after the super attack, which that'll be really nice, so. Double digit damage still. Uh, so this guy's almost gonna hit a million, so by next time he should be hitting a million. It should be nice. Very cool. All right, Gogeta. How much energy can we get off on him? Come on. Two million. 1.1. Okay, so he's in his... Oh, double super attack. Oh, that's going to make it so much easier now. I don't know if his health... Is his health bar going to recover? I don't know. Sometimes they recover a little bit of health. I know he doesn't in the card, obviously, but... We'll have to wait and see. Because we already knocked him halfway down his life bar, so... All right, Vegeta. Are you going to get super attacked? Or... Too bad. Okay. 48 damage. Yeah, he definitely raises his defense quite nicely. Okay, so he goes into his angry mode, essentially. Oriya <laughs> Kotozo! 
Classic Goku stage right there. All right. All, all AGL stage, so I think we'll be fine here. Um, I'll do... Yeah, you know what? Just keep the LRs together. Why not? Or the LR and the TUR of the LR together. Why not? We'll do that. And Goku, that's three. We'll give you those. Okay. All AGL here. Absolutely nothing to worry about, though. 15,000 non-mitigation. So now we're going to see what they do with, with mitigation. <laughs> All right. This should do some good damage. So 1.3, still taking a lot of damage. He's still taking a lot of damage. So honestly, I don't really think you need the item. I really don't think you need it. I mean, we'll have to see how like our tech Vegeta does, the STR Gogeta does, all that fun stuff. Um, boom, all right. That guy, again, remember this Goku here, he's literally here to be support for the LR. He helps change the orbs up so you can get, so you have better chances to get better pass and everything. I like the double attack by the code Goku. Very nice. 12k, 12k. Okay, not bad, not bad. And now we get our defensive raise here. That's pretty nice. So we'll go... Oh, I guess we have to go with that because uh, they share a rebirth. So I don't know. We'll go with an Android 8 item. Sure, why not? I think we'll be fine, to be honest. Unless we get like double super attacked on the uh, Great Sandman 1 and 2. That would not be fun. That's not going to be fun. What's the STR Gogeta? 280, 284? Not bad. Not bad for free to play. Um, Can't seal him or anything, so might as well give him the 18k super attack. Or, I don't know. Why not? Dodge. Cool. All right, 1.4 on the LR, and it helps that our defense is increased by the Great Sandman 1 and 2. So actually, this round, between this round and next round, we'll probably finish this guy up. 1.1. Oh, never mind. Ah, SDR Gogeta's going to get it. SDR Gogeta finishes up with a 1 million attack stat right in there. No critical, unfortunately, but hey, it is what it is. So there we go, guys. There we go. So we officially took down the uh, Super Saiyan Rage Goku. Not that hard of an event. Um, I didn't expect it to be because obviously Doken Fest events are supposed to, are meant to be pretty easy, especially if you're a new player coming in and you happen to grab the new card, then you can go ahead and farm up the medals pretty fast. So, uh, you don't really need to farm up the uh, the Northern Kai, or the King Kai uh, item there. Not really needed at all. Obviously, if you're bringing the team that doesn't have any uh, or isn't you know completely free to play, and you've got some stone characters in there. You're going to destroy this event, no problem. So, anyway. But, anyway, guys, that's basically going to be it for the video, though. Let me get your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're happy to be new. I'm getting the freeze up to ZZ. I've almost got him completely rainbowed. It's got to get him then into the EZA events. And then we are going to be taking on that final original 10 Super Battle Road with a free-to-play team. And if you want, physical LR Gohan can officially become rainbow for you. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video, though. Until next time, everyone. I'll see you all in the next one.